so let us calculate our pbit that is profit before interest and tax and the approach will be similar so we already have the operating profit and if i take you to my chart of accounts once we have the operating profit all we need to do is to deduct these non-operating items as well and once we do that we will have our profit before interest and tax so i will say please bring in my operating profit and then deduct the items where the clause is you know non-operating so let us watch closely how it has been mentioned non-operating okay so let us add this uh, in our sheet so i'll go back and i will say measure and new measure and this is going to be named as ppit profit before interest and tax and i'm going to say i'm sorry i'm going to say let us first of all recall the operating profit and then let us add uh, calculate and then i will say total value and in that total value we have to apply the filter where our class is going to be equal to uh, you know non dash operating so i'm just forgetting if that was a class level or subclass level so i will just complete that and you know after that i will check my formula first that if i have to define it at class level or subclass so let us apply the number format and comma decimal and separator and you know uh, press ok and let me go back to my chart of accounts before i see anything here in the chart of accounts the class was non-operating that is fine so going back uh, we have our pbit and now i should be able to check my values as well with the answers that i already have so it's triple seven two seven eight one five double two and one five nine four so you can see we have the same values here so moving forward we have to calculate our last value and that is going to be net profit now if i take you to my chart of accounts you can you know use the approach where simply report as profit and loss you can directly use the calculate function or you can use the other function that is you know we already have our pbit you will say simply deduct the interest and tax part as well and that will bring in the same answer you can use any of them that will not create any difference so let me go back to my pivot table here and i will say add new measure and this is going to be named as net profit and i will say we already have pbit simply add you know uh, calculate total value where you know the class equals interest and tax interest and tax now i don't actually you know again remember that how it was mentioned so i will have to check that again so number and zero decimal and comma separator so i'm saying we're you know pick up the pbit and say total value where class is equal to interest and tax and press ok and let me go back to my chart of accounts and see yes that should be a class equals interest and tax looks everything looks fine so let me scroll down and we have our net profit that is 623-1303 and 1289 623-1303 and 1289 so the net profit value has also been calculated so you can see that we have calculated all of our values using DAX and there are multiple benefits the first benefit is we are going to calculate a lot more values that are possible with DAX, but not possible using these techniques that you know this filter option here and secondly you can you would agree with me that this is a much better presentation than this one so now that we have everything i'm going to delete all of these pivot tables from here i don't need that anymore and I will be using this nicer cleaner format and my dashboard has also become quite compact again okay so let us move to some other things in the next lecture